Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I've got another really exciting video for you. I'm going to be unboxing and giving my opinions on the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 3, which is the latest edition of Amazon's e-reader that they just unveiled a few weeks ago. So this basically looks almost identical to last year, you can probably already tell that from the packaging, but what's really different in this model is the resolution of the screen. Amazon's upgraded the Kindle Paperwhite to a 300 ppi resolution, which is actually pretty much the exact same as the Voyage, which is their highest end e-reader. That makes this a much better deal overall, and even though it still basically features the exact same specs as last year's model, you definitely might want to consider checking this out. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get into the actual unboxing. So once I pull back the sleeve, you can see that this packaging looks almost identical to last year's model, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that you might have a hard time telling the two models apart from the outside. But packaging aside, let me just go ahead and open up the lid so you can get a first look at the all new Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 3. So as you can see, the new Paperwhite definitely has an Amazon look and feel to it. Right now it isn't some plastic wrap, but you can still see that it has a dark grey colour, a familiar Amazon look, and then it also has a durable design that I've come to expect from Amazon's e-readers. Underneath the Paperwhite, we have a small tab with some basic instructions for how to use your new Kindle, and on the back we have some warranty information about the product you just ordered. The only other thing Amazon provides in the box is a USB charging cable for your Kindle, but it doesn't provide the wall adapter that you'll actually need to charge it from any electrical outlet you want. You'll need to get that separately, and that is a bit of an inconvenience. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get back to the actual Kindle Paperwhite 3. So the Kindle Paperwhite 3 definitely feels pretty sturdy in the hand. It weighs 7.2 ounces and measures 6.7 by 4.6 by 0.4 inches. Placing it in a case will add to that, but the Paperwhite never feels uncomfortable or heavy to read. It honestly feels a fair bit like the weight of a book, which is probably what Amazon's going for. The charging port for the Kindle Paperwhite 3 is still on the bottom, alongside an LED charging indicator and the power button, but once again there's no head phone jack because audiobook support isn't yet available. The Paperwhite has a 1GHz processor and 512MB of RAM, which is actually an increase from the second generation's 256MB, and makes for an all-around faster performance. It uses 802.11 Wi-Fi or 3G data on AT&T's network to download ebooks to its 4GB of storage. There is no external memory support, but there is a free cloud storage option, so you can carry your ebook library across any variety of devices that can download Amazon's Kindle app. One interesting thing about the Kindle Paperwhite 3 is that it features a new typesetting engine, and then also a new font called Bookerly. As far as fonts go, it's actually pretty nice, and I definitely prefer it more than the other fonts available, including Baskerville and Helvetica, since it resembles the old typography you'd find in an actual book. Now speaking of books, the actual process of reading on the Kindle Paperwhite is pretty simple. You just have to tap the right or far left side of the screen to progress forward or backwards, and it's actually a fairly ergonomic system. If you open a book and tap near the top of the screen, you'll bring up a row of icons like Home, Back, Brightness, and so on, along with options to adjust the font, navigate to a specific page or location in the book, share to Facebook or Twitter, or bookmark pages. The bottom of the screen of your Kindle displays how much reading time you have left based on your current reading pace, which can be kind of helpful to judge exactly how long you'll be reading at one sitting. Whenever you end up reading on the Kindle Paperwhite, you'll definitely be impressed by the quality of the text, it looks incredibly sharp and dark, and then the screen is also very glare free. I was able to read in direct sunlight on this Kindle, since it's actually the best ebook reader screen you'll find. It is missing the adaptive backlight in the Voyage, which is basically an automatic brightness sensor, but since you can turn the brightness up and down manually, it's not too much of a big deal. All in all, I would definitely recommend the 2015 edition of the Kindle Paperwhite as the best option for anyone looking for a good ebook reader. While the upgrade in resolution is easy to see, it's probably not enough of a reason to upgrade from your second generation Paperwhite, but if you're upgrading from an older ebook reader or just buying one for the first time, the new Paperwhite is definitely a no-brainer. Although the Kindle Voyage is still Amazon's high-end ebook reader, you simply can't beat the Paperwhite for sheer value, and honestly it's a fantastic value for the price, and it's my top pick out of all the e-readers I've seen so far in 20. But give me your opinions on the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 2015 edition in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.